What's up YouTube? You're watching Aqua Scapegoat TV. My name is Art and I'm the Scapegoat. Today we're going to fight cyanobacteria. So what is cyanobacteria? Well, it's not an algae. As the name states, it's a bacteria. But where it gets tricky is the fact that it's able to photosynthesize just like an algae. So why does this matter? It's a pain in the ass for freshwater and plant to tank hobbyists because no fish will eat it. It's toxic. Cyanobacteria thrives in conditions with low oxygen and limited nitrogen. That is why finding balance in your high-tech tanks is crucial. In a high-tech tank, you'll have lower oxygen levels than normal because we inject CO2. And in some instances, we try limiting our nutrients too to prevent other forms of algae. In my case, I think I wasn't aerating my tank enough and I had my CO2 cranked a little too high. Plus the PPS Pro dosing just wasn't cutting it for my system. Following the procedures, well, correctly to my knowledge, I was bottoming out on nitrogen and the maximum nitrogen I was able to get was around 5 ppm. That's pretty low. So what's the plan of attack for ridding my tank of this crap? Well, first of all, there are a few options for treating cyanobacteria in the planted tank. One of the most common is a product by API called EM erythromycin, which is an antibacterial medication used for fish. The problem with this stuff is, because it's an antibacterial treatment, it puts your biological filtration at risk. Not only that, but if the treatment is unsuccessful, the bacteria might become immune to it and leave you with a super strain of cyano that you might never be able to kill. I know lots of people are claiming it hasn't caused them any harm and they talk about G negative and G positive bacteria and quite honestly, that's way over my head and there's too much contradictory hearsay going on. I'll just put this stuff aside for now. Okay, next on the list is a product called ChemiClean Red Slime Remover. It is used in the reef aquarium for treating red slime algae, another form of cyanobacteria. This stuff won't harm your biological filtration, but it will reduce the oxygen levels in your tank during treatment so they recommend using an air stone while you're doing it. Right, so I've been on the fence about using both products for a few days, and until I've had enough information to make me feel more comfortable, I'm gonna stick to a method that I've used before on other types of algae. 3% hydrogen peroxide spot treatment. It's fairly simple. Um, when you add hydrogen peroxide to the water, its byproduct is oxygen, and as we know, cyanobacteria hates oxygen. It's actually quite effective in treating your tank in terms of getting as much as you can out manually rather than nuking your tank with some kind of chemical that you're not quite sure about. So just sit back and relax and watch how I went about treating it in my tank. It's actually pretty safe. Uh, you can dose one milliliter per gallon up to three milliliters per gallon, provided that you're using the 3% solution. Any higher, you might be in trouble. One of the earliest forms of life on the planet, cyanobacteria has been given credit for wiping out some of the first oxygen intolerant organisms around, and paving the way for our biologically diverse Earth that we know today.
So a day later, everything seems to be looking a bit clearer. Uh, there's not so much green on the rocks as there was yesterday. Uh, not only that, but it looks like it's broken down a bit and the shrimps are going near it again. They never used to even touch this stuff. I'm surprised they're even still alive after being in the same tank as it. Well, I also raised the lily pipes just to get a bit more oxygen in the tank, and I dumped out all my PPS Pro Ferts. I switched up to EI again. It just seems to be like a no-brainer. I don't want to have to think. I don't want to have to miss doses. I don't want to have to overdose it. Like, it's simple. That's it. Water change once a week, which I should be doing anyways, and that's it. I'll just continue to keep raising that lily pipe. And I'm going to come back in a week, and if it's not all gone, I'm going to just go ahead with the ChemiClean, because at this point, I'm really out of options, and I just want my tank back. <laughs> so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, I know it was a bit longer than the last time, and be sure to check out my plant pronunciation guide, I'm sure you'll get a kick out of it. Anyways, thanks again, and I'll see you later.